the frog's tail. Biff was reading Kipper a story all about a talking frog. Frogs can't talk, said Kipper. In stories, talking frogs are always princes under a spell, Biff explained. Just then, the magic key began to glow. It was time for an adventure. The magic took them to a pond. A frog was gazing at them. Hello, it croaked. You must be a prince, Biff told it. Really, croaked the frog? Just like our story, gasped Kipper. There was a castle not far away. Come on, we'll take you there, said Biff. At the castle gate, a soldier said, Hey, you can't bring that frog in here. He's really a prince, Biff said, and princes always live in castles. The soldier let them in. They came to the castle kitchen. Hey, no yucky frogs in here, shouted the cook. He's really a prince, said Kipper. In that case, do you like fancy food? The cook asked the frog. Yes, princes always like fancy food, said Biff. I prefer bugs, croaked the frog. After lunch, they met the princess. Get that horrible thing out of my sight, she shouted. He's a prince, not a horrible thing, said Biff. And princes always get on with princesses. In that case, let's play tennis, the princess told the frog. I'd rather swim, the frog croaked. The king and queen were outside. Princess, why are you talking to a frog? asked the king. When Biff explained, the queen said, The royal wizard must change this poor prince back. The royal wizard just listened. Then he said, This isn't a prince. That's a real frog. The king was furious. Get that frog, he cried. But the frog did its best to avoid capture. But at last, one soldier got it. Now take him to the tower, ordered the queen. That's not fair, cried Biff. This frog is more special than any prince. How often do you meet a talking frog? Very well, said the king. Set him free. The frog jumped towards the window. It looked back at the room and croaked, Goodbye. Then it hopped off the ledge. Talking frogs always hop off like that, said Biff. We need to hop off too, said Kipper. The End